All right, hi and welcome to Moonbase or Mooncraft 2.0, Moonbase Beta. Uh, Moonbase Alpha was my first Mooncraft lesson, but with all the news about Russia and NASA and a few other countries teaming up here with the Moonbase coming up, I decided to redo the same thing. So in this world you spawn, uh, I'll show you where you spawn in a second, but look at this. This is a sort of a collapsed rune of a, a moon landscape um, that serves as an actual base for training purposes. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to have our students go through a series of six stations and learn about the moon. There's some ethical questions and a few other things as well. So I will try to fly over here and show you where we start. There's the astronaut village right here outside the moon base. So you can see it's just a giant slice of the moon, I guess, plunked down in the countryside. So you start here and it says uh, joint, moon, uh, joint Nation Moon Base Beta. Uh, NASA, Roscosmos, and other space agencies are teaming up to make a deep space gateway. Uh, that's now known as LOPG. I think it's a... Uh, I forget what the L stands for, but it's in here somewhere. Um, anyway, it's a uh, platform gateway uh, operational type of thing. So um, so this is, this is current. This is very current. In fact, this is the most current thing you could ever teach your kids when it comes to space. The moon is going to serve as a, uh, I guess, a deep space gateway for our missions to Mars. So I have everyone in here celebrity wise and, and I'll show you in one sec. So that sign says head this way. Uh, this sign says this way to the astronaut village. Uh, it even has things like don't communicate with the outside world unless you clear it with the comm tent. Uh, very secret. So this this is supposed to be a secret location. So when you come up this way, the kids will come up this way and they bump into Neil deGrasse Tyson. Um, we can click on Neil, see what he says. Here let's switch to world builder mode. So it says, wow, it's great to see you. We have an all-star cast here. Did you hear about the USA and Russia mission? No? Check this link out. And it talks about the world's brightest smiles and minds here today. Um, and there's the news brief. So if kids want to learn about it, there's the news brief. The sign welcomes them to the facility. Uh, moon Base Beta Training Facility, established 2018. There's the mission. And they head through the tunnel. Okay, so the point of this is not to teach them about the moon base. You, you'll find it very hard to find a curriculum document that talks about the moon base, which literally was just announced a few months ago. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually get your students to be creative. They're going to have challenges. They're going to be asked some ethical questions and get to respond in portfolios. So what you're marking here and what you're looking to mark here is more so like critical thinking. Find a way to link it to your curriculum, either through math or science or something like that. But you're certainly not going to be marking their ability to, uh, to create a moon base. So over here it says uh, station one is located to your left. You can visit the rest of the stations traveling a clockwise, uh, I guess, orientation. Congratulations. Uh, the next time you, I guess, come back to this area, you will be uh, on your way to the moon. So if we look up, it does say, please look up and take a look at the moon because that's our target. So there's the moon up in the sky. It's permanently night, and I think the moon is locked in place. So we'll come over here to Roberta Bondar. She is Canada's first female astronaut. Uh, and they make a point of saying who they are. Um, and then they said, have you heard, like, so this is where she gets into the, the issue. So they introduce themselves and then they get into the issue. The first issue is some companies have considered burning their advertisements into the face of the moon. And this is asking how the kids feel about that. So how do the kids, how do the students feel about that? Uh, is there any cause on Earth that would be worth burning into the surface of the moon? Um, so then they come over here. Again, the sign just says, go check out Roberta. They grab a portfolio from the chest, they answer it, and then they put the portfolio back. So that's what the sign says. Answer it, put the portfolio back, and then again, the next student along will answer it and put the por portfolio back as well. Then you follow the lights. So you follow the glowstone over here onto station two. So you go across the moon terrain and you come over to Buzz Aldrin, the second person to touch foot on the, uh, the moon, I guess, to put his feet down on the moon. Um, again, the board just simply says what you're going to be getting into. And uh, it even says the, the second coolest uh, human next to Neil Armstrong. When we click on Buzz, he says, I'm the second human ever to walk on the moon. I sure do miss that big uh, ball of dust. Someday humans will live on the moon. So what Buzz wants them to do is build their version in teams or alone of what uh, settlement living on the moon, lunar living, will look like. So the kids get to go to the surrounding areas all around here and build what they believe lunar living will look like. Once they're done building their little establishment of how they think people will live in a safe, secure facility, then they fly off following the lights to Station 3. 
Station 3 is our good friend Neil Armstrong, no longer with us, but he is in this game. The sign says, go visit Neil, the first human ever to walk on the moon. Once you, uh, oh, he's got some videos to share with you. And then they want you to fly up and build your representation, or at least a piece of what is called Lop G, or the, uh, the I guess, the, the lunar organizational, whatever it's called, um, deep space gateway. So he talks about, the sign says a little bit about Russia and NASA. And then there's Neil saying, uh, is that my good friend Buzz Aldrin over there? Anyway, look up, way up. And he encourages them to go up above him and build, at least get started, the Lunar Operations Platform. So there's your LOP and G, Gateway. So it's now called the Lunar Operations Platform Gateway. And uh, the kids, this is very current, and the kids will get to build their version of it. And the cool thing about this is this video will show them kind of the thoughts, the science thoughts behind it, so they can actually look at the video and then go up and build a, a really decent representation of that. Once you're done with Neil, you fly off following the lights. You come over here and you find Dr. Helen Sharman, and I will fix that slash. Helen Sharman is the first British astronaut ever. So she, again, talking about the ball of dust in the sky, uh, holds great amounts. Now, she's talking about mining the moon, or moon mining. So there's a video here. It's not exactly the most exciting video in the world, but what it does talk about is the essentials of what's in that moon that we could really use here on Earth. One of them is helium-3. It's a super fuel of tomorrow, and the kids will get to learn about that. When they're done watching that video and, and meeting Helen, uh, the sign says that they simply jump down into this hole, they try their hand at a little bit of mining, so they would dig in here, and anything precious they find, they're going to throw in the chest. So they get a little bit of practice moon mining. It's not a difficult one, and then they, again, fly off to the next stage, follow the lights. Over here is our current friend, Elon Musk. So here's Elon Musk. He's at station number five, ticket to ride. Uh, Elon sent his car into space. He's very proud of that. He tells the kids that. And... Uh, <laughs> He, he makes them watch the video, and then he asks them what uh, the future of surface travel in space will look like. Um, so there's a demo video in there, so let's click on Elon here, see what he has to say. So he sent his own car into space, so he knows what he's talking about. Uh, he wants to hire them, of course, anyone that passes this program, he wants them on his team. And uh, then he has two, two videos to watch, and then the kids actually get to use the surrounding space, much like the living quarters, to build their designs of what, what the vehicles will look like that travel on on the moon and other planets. Flying over here after Elon is Colonel Hatfield. Yep, he's the guy that played guitar in space and made a music video. So the sign says, Colonel Hatfield produces music videos in space um, and you can also have a 4K um, tour of the moon. So here's the thing. Um, there's nothing to do here for students other than click on Colonel Hatfield, watch his music video, which is really engaging. This is super awesome. Like they couldn't finish this without watching this. This is a 4K tour of the moon. And then, of course, Neil Armstrong's uh, first moon landing, the basically the, the highlight reel of all the clips of that footage. Um, I don't think any of our students should graduate high school without watching uh, that moment. So if they haven't, there's a good moment, there's an engaging moment, and it's sort of ending this on a high note. So they don't do anything other than learn from these three resources and get to know who Colonel Hatfield is. Uh, they then go over here to the graduation stage, where each of our hosts, each of our guests, um, I guess celebrities uh, say congratulations, congratulations. So as they move along here, they're getting congratulated by Neil Armstrong and all these people. And at the end of this, they come over to the bot, and the bot is astronaut registration. So they simply click on this link. There's a Google Forms doc. It asks their name, their country, and their teacher. And I thought that'd be really cool to have a collection of you know the kids who have actually become astronauts and and completed the training here. If they don't want to do it, all they do, or if they're done, if they do it and they're done. They step on this pressure plate and we teleport right back to where we began, right here. So that is Mooncraft 2.0, um, the moon base beta, not the alpha, because I've already done a Mooncraft lesson. This is Mooncraft uh, 2.0. Uh, it's very modern. It is focused on literally news that came out a few months ago. Uh, this is going to be very present in schools. We may not be able to teach this curriculum wise because again curriculum documents are often old 
but if you're looking for a chance to get your students being creative and doing something very, very relevant in the area of space education and, uh, I guess, STEM just in general, um, this is a really, uh, I, I feel this is a very neat way to get them engaged in, uh, in the thing that's up in the sky every night that uh, we often don't consider scientifically. So again, um, if you're into teaching moon or space or STEM education to your students of any age, I could see this working all the way from grade 3, maybe, uh, up to grade 12. Um, feel free to try out this level. I'll have this uh, up on the Minecraft Education, uh, I guess, website. And if you have any comments, let me know. Any feedback, let me know. If you use it, let me know, because I'd love to get some pictures of uh, kids actually running around in here. Best way to do it is to have them in groups, maybe groups of five, and have them go through, uh, you know, one after another. Um, it can get pretty crowded, and if you do start them at different stations, if you say this group go to station six, this group go to station five, uh, just tell them to ignore the graduation stage part until they are truly done all five or all six stages, and then come to the stage at the end. So that's an easy instruction for you to give. Um, they can start anywhere, of course, and cycle around, maybe even a timed type of thing in class but uh, get them to skip the stage until they're all done. So this is it. This is a total revamping of Mooncraft 1.0, and it's more uh, relevant and more, I guess, meaningful to all of us on Earth uh, now than it was, I guess, a year and a half, two years ago when I made the first version. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if I can make it better. Um, I'm more than willing to make it better. But this has been the Joint Nation Moon Base Beta. Uh, I guess project between NASA, Russia, and a whole bunch of other space agencies. And uh, that's basically all I have to say. Uh, the world file, the video file, um, and anything else that I feel is appropriate I will have here um, in the lesson as well.